What's up, YouTube? It's Link Legend Ross, and today I'm here with another N Nintendo Switch unboxing video. As you can see here, I picked up my pre order for Mario and Luigi Brothership. This is part of the uh, Mario and Luigi series. It's been forever since, you know, the last game, especially since Alpha Dream basically, you know, got bankrupt. I think it was bankrupt, and then, you know, they closed down. So I'm definitely interested in checking this game out. So let's see what we've got going on. So, first things up, I believe the game was made in Unreal Engine 5, um, from everything that I heard of. And I do hope that a lot of the um, former Alpha Dream employees, hopefully they're working at Nintendo. And, you know, like I said, hopefully, you know, they put some love into this game, especially because the Mario, the Mario Luigi series, even though I never personally grew up with it, I have played the 3DS games and... Even though they're not the best of the series, at least by, you know, fans of the series, I personally enjoyed them. And it sucked, like I said, it sucks when Alpha Dream died. So, anyhow, going on the back. So, this is the pre order bonus that you get from GameStop. Now, I did have this copy pre ordered, but I actually forgot that I had it pre ordered. So, I ordered it online and use my five dollar coupon that i already used for when i picked up my farmagia copy so i double dipped on my five dollar coupon so i got this for like five dollars off and i was like oh okay because i was going to do that anyway to double dip but i was like it is what it is um a brothership adventure um begins mario and luigi set sail on ship shape island to help their new friend connie reconnect her fermented fr fragmented excuse me fragmented land <laughs> combine the bros to help explore timing and teamwork are key to victory and i'm gonna not really read all this there but there's all that there's some screenshots there it is one player on tv tabletop and handheld mode as i already said unreal engine nintendo switch pro honestly if i don't really buy too many games if it if you can't play it for a controller I'm gonna be real. Anyhow, um, going off that, it was something I was gonna say, but I couldn't remember. Um, definitely, um, well, definitely, like I said, I was so surprised to have seen this and that Nintendo Direct, and obviously, you know, Nintendo, even though this is really the uh, official last year of the Nintendo Switch, they've still been coming out with some bangers. So it's like, oh man, it was super exciting. And then if I hadn't already mentioned it, I even got a chance to pre-order Xenoblade Chronicles X at GameStop when I was there. So, well, I transferred my $5 that I had on this game that I had to pre-order on for it. So not an issue right there. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. But, um... Yeah, my GameStop usually puts these on the GameStop stickers or, you know on these games just so they know that they're pre-ordered obviously i hate when someone sells my pre-order copies so because why pre-order so i'd rather know that my copy isn't in store than find out that they sold it to someone else and did now so i believe there was some insider illness oh yeah this is actually really nice um i was actually expecting like the islands to be shown i like i said i haven't seen anyone's unboxing till now um i don't plan on opening these uh and you know what sucks is is you can't never put like these in the cases because you know the nintendo switch cases they're not the biggest cases for the video games like they're basically like like nintendo switch cases are basically um kind of like psp cases so i do wonder when switch when switch 2 comes out i do wonder what the cases will look like if they're still going to be the same sizing or let's say 3ds or ds size honestly i'm surprised nintendo hasn't done but i guess they didn't want to confuse people so would save them a lot on the plastic but um let me just go show the game cartridge again but um yeah mario luigi is a series like i said i'm glad this actually came out oh i remember now so I know, so, currently at the time of this video, no day one update, here goes the game icon, that's, that's really nice to see on here, um, 
obviously this is 60 gold coins American. I would like to know, because I know a lot of people, no, just saying, a lot of people think that Mario and Luigi can beat Sephiroth, especially if they come from the Mario and Luigi series. Now, like I said, I would like to know people's opinion on that. <laughs> I think it's funny. I, whether, I, I can't say for a person, because like I said, I like Sephiroth. I have a bias towards Sephiroth. So I'm not saying he would beat Mario and Luigi from the Mario and Luigi series, but it would probably be close. Just as long as they don't get those combos off, because the combos in Dream Team were ridiculous. I think it was Dream Team, the one I'm thinking of. I definitely enjoyed that one. But this is like Legend Ross signing out. You guys let me know personally what you think of the Mario and Luigi series. Definitely let me know what you think about the Sephiroth debate. I'm interested in that. And like I said, hopefully all those Alpha Dream employees are somewhere working well on a passion project. Like I said... And if hopefully this game sells really well to where we still get Mario and Luigi series going on. Obviously, we're in the year of 2024. It would be nice to get one before 2030. So, Link Legend Ross signing out. And as always, have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye. Peace.